You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to a brand new Black Series action figure review. We're going to kick off with some uh, Acolyte figures. I've got three of them so far. We're starting, we're going to start off with number one, Osha Anasaya. You know, probably the main-ish character. It was pretty, it was a sort of well-spread ensemble cast. Um, but yeah, I did, I, I, I did love the show, I'll be honest. It was really good. Um... But yeah, this is the first sample of the new new packaging in the Black Series that I'm bearing witness to, and it's a it's a nice it's a nice refresh. I'll be honest. Still going with the sort of the color paneling, um, and the mural on the side, no angle to the box, just nice square. It's a nice solid, nice solid card. There's a little write up of of Osha there. Yeah, it's uh, okay. It's more of a. Now that I'm reading it, I'm just looking at the end. Yeah, it's more of just a just a little bio on on the show, the acolyte. But yeah, this one sort of came out really quick, given that they, uh, you know, before the season started, there was a little bit of secrecy about, you know, the character of uh, Osha and May. We didn't know the duality was there until the show really kicked off. Um, and yeah, I found it to be really rewarding, honestly. So I'm excited about this figure. Let's bust it open and take a look. All right, folks, here is Osha. Sort of based on her appearance, mostly from the first and second episode, where she's still sort of in her mechanic um, outfit, which is, you know, it's, it's a mechanic. She's a shit mechanic. Um, Accessory-wise, she does come with a little backpack here, which looks cool. I love the little greeblies on the front there. Sorry, Star Wars. It's sort of the gold thermos Stanley Cup. <laughs> um, yeah, the sort of the bag straps, the loops are really sort of soft plastic, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get that on her, which we'll do afterwards. It looks nicely sculpted, which is cool. It does come with the uh, the Jedi sort of stun blaster. She uses throughout. And that was kind of cool to see. And that sort of it sort of came came to understand as if it was like a Jedi Jedi issue sort of um, stun blaster that they would used to sort of apprehend people that they were tracking down because the lightsabers weren't used for fighting. And little Pip, I love this. This is so cool. <laughs> this is fantastic. I think I'm not sure whether that's been to come out or not. But yeah, the little head sort of spins around there. And we have. I think it's sort of the opened up form of Pip. Sort of got all the little tools and bits and pieces. So that's cool. Yeah, Pip was a cool little, cool little addition to the to the uh, to the show. I liked it a lot. Yeah, a little bit of personality to such a little, a little droid. And that will fit. It will fit here. It will fit in her little little pouch there. And gets focus. There we go. Yeah, the the pouch lid sort of just sits over his head. So that looks cool. And the stun blaster will go in the little sling carrier here. Let's see how this goes. So 
So it's going to be sort of things over the shoulder there. That looks good. What I might actually do is I might just slip that off. You can see how the uh, backpack goes. Should be okay. Oh, yeah, that's simple. That's that's good. That fits nicely. So I, I like that. That looks good. Let's sort of put that one back on. Look at the top there. That's sort of out of the way. That looks good. I like it. Let's get a let's get a little bit of a closer look. Gonna go a little bit higher. There we go. Let's get a look at her head sculpt there. I think they've done a great job getting the likeness to uh, Amanda Stenberg. I think she was she was really good. It took me a little bit to get to get to know the character a little bit characters, but I think she did a really good job of both characters. Um, and then the sort of the sort of switch was sort of really interesting. Ended up being quite quite good characters. I, I like them a lot. The sculpting on the hair is really nice. It looks good. I like the uh, you know very Star Warsy sort of vest here, again with the little greebling on the. On the little whatever it is, <laughs> it's a pretty sort of standard body underneath, just to allow for changes and things like the coats. You could use this body again in some other ways, I'm sure. Sort of standard sort of cargo pants, work boots. Not a great deal of sort of weathering or anything on the pants. Maybe there is a little bit of a wash, perhaps just to make them look a sort of dirty, sort of khaki look. I think there is. And the belt's all sort of sculpted in there as well. Or is it? No. No, the belt is sort of glued on at the front. It's sort of loose on the back there. Just to uh, not hinder any sort of articulation. So that's cool. Speaking of articulation, she does have the sort of the barbell in the in the head, on the top of the neck, a joint in the bottom of the neck, some ball hinges, and the butterfly joints in the, the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows, got the ball and socket in the wrist. So there's a bit of a swivel and a little bit of in and out movement. Not as much as a hinge, but it uh, certainly looks better than a hinge. Um, Join at the bottom of the torso there. It's got the ball and socket in the thighs. No hip, no, oh sorry, in the hips. No thigh rotation, just ball hinge in the knees, ball hinge in the ankles, and the rocker in the feet as well. Also like the, the boots have got the little steel cap on them. So I think it's a good first figure to, to start off a line dedicated to the Acolyte. I know there's a, I've got, this is one of three I've got so far. The next lot can show up soon and then hopefully we get some more announced very soon. I'd like to see, see a lot more of the characters come to life, honestly, through, through the Black Series. But yeah, she feels like a feels and looks like a Star Wars Star Wars character, which is nice. She's got a little droid, all the little greebling and bits and pieces for the suit. Let's uh, check out the pegs on the bottom of the feet. They're pretty standard for Black Series. She will go on the big peg there of the KR stand from KessleRunHair.com. 3D printed, sold in packs of 10. You can always let us know if you are after a little bit more and we can sort of just do one bulk pack or something. But yeah, she stands quite well. I'm pretty happy with this one. 
love to hear your thoughts please sound out in the comments down below we've got a couple more reviews coming up for you shortly until then may the force be with you always